Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Pedro C. And on this blog, I will uh, going to walk you through how to create an API, or it's called the Application Programming Interface. But before we get started, let me give you what is an what is an an API and what does it do. So API is a programming tool that can actually make computers, your computer or a remote computer, can communicate with each other. Though there are limitations of of applications to what you know what you can actually want your program do or the other uh, remote computer uh, do as well. So, tatagalogin ko yung API po ay yun, yun po siyang program na mag-communicate yung program mo at saka program ko. Hindi entirely yung computer ko. So, yung program mo, for example, uh, meron siyang API. Um, ultimately, yung program mo, pwede mong magamit o pwede mong ipakontrol sa any other uh, uh, program. So, sa Binance, uh, most of the programs, of mo most platforms have APIs. No? So, sa Binance, meron din silang API. So, ginawa yun ng Binance talaga para in the future, kung meron kayong planong i uh, ipa-manage or ipa-remote yung trading yung platform mo, then it can be done. No, sa mga tao rin marunong mag-ano ng API. So, ganun po yun ang nangyayari. So, API again stands for Application Programming Interface. What does it do? It makes two programs communicate with each other. So, nag-link po silang dalawa. Okay, or marami siyang malilink. Okay, or nag-network po siya. Okay, now let's start with Binance. Kasi Binance lang po ang API na i-discuss natin. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the screen for my Binance. Uh, my other account po. Okay, and then here we go. So on this screen, makikita mo yung dashboard ko. So this is my dashboard. Oh, and you can see here the name Binance, at tab po, my buy crypto. And let, let us discuss other things too in the future. So uh, I have other videos that discuss what, where to buy crypto, market, and ultimately this is trading. So it's also good to learn trading now. So basic in advance. Anyway. Saan po natin makikita yung API? So, wallet, orders, eto po. Dito po sa pangalan mo. And down there, uh, one, two, three, four, you can see actually the API management. So, ginawa po yan. No? So, na para ibigay mo sa trader mo or ibigay mo sa mga taong kilala mo. Okay? It doesn't have to be the person you have to trust. It doesn't have to be like that because... Your API is very secured. No, depende po sa mga uh, depende po sa feature na inaalaw mo. Okay? Pero ang Binance has a default feature na you don't need to change anything. It's already in default and that's fine. Okay? So let's start. Ang ito po, kinlik ko na yung API. Alright. So it directed to the API. So, ito po nakikita nyo. So, created API. So, you're going to make a label. Say, for example, you want to say whatever name you're going to create in there. So, all right. Uh, gawa po tayo ng Peter API. So, create po kayo ng API. You click yan. And then, ultimately, magsisend po siya ng SMS sa phone mo. So, yun lang. And it's very easy, it's very quick. Send sa SMS, tapos double verification po to siya. Pag send mo sa SMS, um, then i-respond mo lang yung verification code niya. And secondly, it will also send an email para i-verify mo. Until such time, magbalik siya, na-recognize na, na, e na, na ng email mo, then you can make your API. Okay? Then it will create your API. Ganun na. So, gawa tayo, for example, send SMS. Gagawa ako ng isa. So, meron ng send. So, ilagay po natin 336. And then, 368 po ang code. Ayan. And then, confirmation. So, i-confirm niya. Go to email and verify. Okay, i-verify po natin. 
i-click mo po yan. Alright. And then, sana po tayo. Mm -hmm. Bine-verify ko po sa email. Then, the next thing you will see is on your email, there's an update. There's Binance create new API key. Okay. May date po yan. Okay. Then, confirm the new API key. Okay. So, what does it do? Is that you go back and confirm? Na confirm na po. Sana yun. And then created an API. Ayan na. Then Peter yung API na ginawa ako. Meron na siyang bagong API. Okay. All right. O, meron na. Okay. And yan. So. Hindi ko lang ano, kasi secured po yan. And it's, iano lang ang default niya. Like say for example, lagay mo lang yung eto, read only, at saka enable trading. You don't need to write down, you don't need to click the enable withdrawal. Though you can do that, and what does it do is that you enable the, uh, the trader to withdraw the any amount or any directly to your wallet so it's still safe even if you like uh uh enable the withdrawal so this two is enough and then you put, always put unrestrict do not change this one okay it's always unrestricted okay because you might have a other trader that can actually do overseas so yun po ang ano natin um api list okay ito pagawa and then you can also delete all API. So, andyan na po si Peter, oh, yung ginawa natin, ano, API. So, that's how you do it. And then we go back. And then let's go to the buy crypto. Okay. That's all. That's all, guys. Ganun lang po kasimple ang pag-create ng API. And once you have the API, then you can now send that to your trader. So, ganun lang po ang nangyayari. Okay. So that's how easy it is, no? Um, okay, and ganun lang po kay kadali. Um, to, to create an API, okay? The next thing you need to do is to fund your Binance, okay? In order for uh, the trader or whom I know, si Crypto Damos, na makapag-trade sa, sa Binance mo. Again, you are the only one who can withdraw your assets sa Binance. No one else. Okay, it's very safe. You can withdraw anytime. Anytime, anywhere. Okay. And no one. Again, it's so safe. That's why it's always guaranteed that it's safe. Unless you give your password, your email, your um, your telephone number to someone else. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm okay because I always give it to my wife. So, no problem. All right, so... That's how you do it. That's how easy how to make an API. Okay. If you have any question, no problem. Just uh, just contact me in the Digos Live. And also, guys, this is not financial advice, and don't treat this as such. So anything that I put up in here or I trade on anyone is not for you to follow. Okay, and to trade. All right. So yun lang. Um. Also, don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you like my you if if if, if this helps you, nakatulong po ito, nakatabang ni, then please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel, which is Tikasid. Okay, salamat salamat, and you have a good day. Bye bye.